Blake from VaultBoost.co.uk and today we're unboxing one of the latest colorways for Mizuno's Lightweight Heritage Solo, the Morelia Neo Made in Japan Edition dubbed Pearl Black Red. Coming in the box is a nice little white string bag with the Mizuno Athletic Footwear logo. Nothing else on the back. Right, let's get the boots out of the box. Just before I get started, it would be greatly appreciated if you'd leave this video a like. Specially crafted in Japan, this is a limited edition colorway for the Morelia Neo. The boots colorway is super classic, boasting a glossy white leather upper with black and red coloring the sole plate and Mizuno branding. A hint of gold is seen on the heel branding and inner lining of the upper inside the boot. The laces and studs are white, while on the tongue it says professional model made in Japan. It's a nice little feature to this boot. The Mizuno logo on the lateral side and medial sides of the boot feature a special raised ridge design, a unique feature to the made in Japan Morelia boots. All in all, if you're a player that loves classic looking boots, you can't go wrong with this colorway. This boot features a super premium K leather upper on the forefoot which is super soft and flexible right out of the box. Several lines of stitching has been woven into the K leather just to help with the structure and the performance of the leather. Spanning from the midfoot um, to the heel of the boot is a synthetic upper material. The tongue is synthetic and features a mesh material at the base of the tongue for added breathability. Inside the boot features a super soft and comfortable suede lining spanning the heel region of the boot. The same suede finish is seen on the tongue on the inside as well. Extra padding has been placed in this region for extra comfort. A gold nylon lining covers the rest of the inside of the boot. You can see it there. The sock line of this boot is very lightweight and comfortable. The finish on the top feels like that sort of velcro feeling. It's going to be really good inside the boot. You're not, there's always be any sliding inside the boot here. The sole plate features a conical stud pattern featuring four studs on the heel and eight studs on the forefoot. An extra stabilizing stud in the middle of the forefoot is featured just to help this um, sort of equal distribution of stud pressure here. The conical studs will also help for agility in these tight areas, so you're going to be able to turn a lot like that. Just the conical studs work. It's also seen on Nike's Hyper Venom Phantom boot. This boot is all about being lightweight as it weighs roughly 180 to 185 grams, making it the lightest leather boot on the market today. It's definitely one of those speed boots you should be looking at. It will provide you a really comfortable and lightweight appearance because of this K leather on the forefoot here. In terms of fit, you should really try these boots on before you buy them. If you do have wide feet, you should avoid this boot. It has a very narrow last. The standard Moralia boot would be better suited for players with wider feet. In terms of sizing, true to size is the way to go for these Neo boots. If the Made in Japan Neo is asking too much in terms of price, you do have the standard Neo version which is roughly £25 cheaper. There is also the Club Moralia Rangers available, which is again much cheaper than this boot. The Basara and Wave Ignitus ranges by Mizuno are available also. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel if you have not done already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.